Welcome to this virtual session where we are going to talk about your future careers. My name is Peter Klaasner from University of Pretoria. I'm going, going to share with you an easy way to make sure that you will be in a position to make a responsible study and career choice, which is quite important for you as grade 11 learners. One of the main reasons why new first-year students at the university experience problems or they struggle even in their first year of study, which can lead to them dropping out, is because they enter wrong study programs. We can understand that it's a difficult decision because you are quite young, but I believe the main reason for this is that students enter wrong study programs because of not proper prior planning. The moment you start preparing for your future, it's important to decide with your parents about a study program that you would like to follow that can bring you to a successful career. And by not doing that, you can set yourself up for failure. Now I'm going to take you through a few steps that I believe will assist you in making this important decision in your lives. The first important step would be to decide on a proper or a cool career. This is very important. This is often where people are making the mistake because they start planning by looking at study programs, and that can be quite confusing. The second step would then be to work hard academically, because I believe, as you know, your academic marks is the only thing that can guarantee your access into a study program one day on a tertiary level. And then in the third place, you will have to qualify for admission, based on the subject choices that you made in grade 9, as well as your achievement levels up to grade 12. Now I'm going to concentrate in this session specifically on the first step, and that is how to decide on a cool career. It's important to know or to re realize that you have to make a decision now about a career in which you are going to be happy for 30 or 40 years after your studies. Quite an important decision. And you must make also sure that the career that you are going to pick will suit your personal vision, your work ethics, your personality, your aptitude, and your interest. A lot of students are only looking at the salary package, for instance, or the prestige of the career, or the job opportunities. And based on this, they decide what they would like to study. Although this is also very important, it should not be your primary consideration. The success stories that we see at the university, not necessarily the students that were among the top 10 academic achievers at their schools, also not the students who go for the so-called prestige programs. The successful students are those students that enter struggle study programs that they are really interested in. Because those students are passionate, they are motivated, they are noticed in class, and they enjoy what they are doing. And I just believe if you do something that you enjoy, the doors will open up for you later on. It's also important to make sure that if you decide on a study or a career program or a career that you would like to enter into, that the study program that you are going to pick later on will give you access to your studies when you look at your subjects that you've taken on school, at school level. Now, one of the big problems that school learners, and I'm sure yourself are also sitting with, is people don't know about all the careers that are available. You grew up in an environment where you know what your closest family are doing, you know what your parents are doing, you know what the school principal is doing, medical doctors, etc. And then you think, I must now pick one of these careers, of the ones that are familiar to me. And maybe there's 20 that you are familiar with. But in the meantime, there may be about 60 careers out there that you haven't discovered yet. And maybe the real career that you would like to do is outside there. You must just go and have a look at that. I'm going to show you now also later on in our second session on how it will be possible for you to get access and to get information about all the careers available. Another important thing is job shadowing. There are way too many first years also ending up at the university with a perception about a career. They have an idea about a career, and that is usually based on things that they see on television, reading in books, etc. But they forget that sometimes when you do that, you only get 
information about the exciting part of this career. There may be some other things that you don't see on the television. And therefore, we strongly recommend from our side that you do some job sharing. If you are interested in becoming an architect, put in the effort and make an appointment with an architect. Tell him, sir, ma'am, I'm interested in the career that you are doing. Just tell me, this is the idea that I have about this career, but can you tell me what are the good things about this career? What are the challenging things about this career? Will this career be recognized internationally? What are the specialization fields? How is my work environment going to look like? All those things are very important to make sure that when you make that decision about the career that you really want to go into that career. We don't want you to experience the disappointment when you get to the university and suddenly realize, but this is not what I thought about. A very useful website that I'm going to demonstrate to you also in our next session within a week's time is the PACE Career website. We are going to show you how you can get access and how you can browse through all the careers that are based on your field of interest. And based on that, you will be able to get information and make sure about what you would really like to do. But in preparation for this session, I want you to do something from your side. A very short career interest questionnaire that you must complete, please, on the website that you see there, www.gostudy.net. You can just access that website and you will get to this page with a career questionnaire. You click there, you follow the instructions, and then you will see there's 105 easy questions. And I can promise you it's not going to take you longer than 10 minutes. You are just going to answer yes or no to a number of statements. Just in from my side, when you complete this questionnaire, don't think too long about a question. Think about the career environment, whether you would like to do it or not, and then you just click yes or no. And at the end, you're going to get quite a reliable reflection of all your fields of interest in the form of a graph that you can print out. So for now, our next session, please complete this questionnaire, print out the results or take a photo and bring it along when we meet again then in one week time. Thank you very much for joining us for this session today. I'm looking forward to our next session in a week's time. Please don't forget to complete this questionnaire, to print out the results and have it ready so that we can discuss it. Thank you.